So if you have been following me, you realize that I started a series on breastfeeding positions and I started with the first position that is the cradle breastfeeding position. If you've not watched that video, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you have access to it. So today we are moving on to the cross cradle breastfeeding position. <laughs> Guys, this position is very good especially for small babies. For babies who are sick and also for mothers who are very short nipples as well and if you have a large breast it's also a very good position which can help make you and your baby comfortable as well so today join me as we delve into the cross cradle breastfeeding position <music> Welcome to Midwife's Diary. My name is Evelyn and I'm a registered midwife. This is Midwife's Diary and on Midwife's Diary we talk about everything maternal and newborn care. Like about breastfeeding, cord care, how to position your baby, um, whether it has everything about maternal and newborn care. If these are the kind of content that you are interested in, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And please share our videos, like them and please leave a comment. Please subscribe it's for free we are talking about the cross cradle breastfeeding position so before anything at all before you start breastfeeding your baby make sure that you've washed your hands and you've cleaned it as well and then let's move on to the position of the mother you the mother you need to make sure that you are relaxed you are comfortable and you have signed up yourself that we are doing this breastfeeding process so first of all make sure that you are in a comfortable position positioning is very important so that you the mother can be very comfortable so you make sure that you get a chair with the backrest and you can you can get a chair with armrest as well it will be very advantageous to you so you make sure that your back is straight and erect so getting a chair like what I'm sitting in like this I can go back and make sure that my back is relaxed and then secondly I get my pillow the pillow here is going to help with the positioning of the baby so depending on how big or small your baby is that determine the kind of pillow you're supposed to use it whether you're supposed to get a big pillow a small pillow or whichever makes you comfortable so even with this pillow like this you can see that I will even be able to get a place to rest my arm as well so now let's bring the baby and look at the positioning of the baby so once I have my baby here, my baby is going to be on the pillow. So my baby is going to lie on the side and I need to make sure that my baby is elevated to the level of where my nipple is. So if let's say this pillow is not giving me that, then I can add an extra pillow or let's say support us more with a blanket so that my baby can be elevated to the level of the nipple. So as you can see, this pillow would be just fine. So first of all, you turn your baby to the side. So you turn your baby to the side like this. And as you've turned your baby to the side, you see my baby is a bit small. If it were to be like a normal, a normal size baby, you see that the leg would actually be showing over here. So in that case, you tuck your baby under your arm, close to your body. So when you turn your baby to the side, you make sure that your baby's tummy is touching your tummy as well. So, one, the first step is baby's head is at the level of your nipple and then you turn your baby to the side with the stomach touching your stomach and then you tuck your baby's body under your arm like this. So if I'm feeding with the, with the left breast, I am supporting the baby with my right hand. And if I'm feeding the baby with my right breast, then I'm supporting the baby with my right hand unlike the cradle breastfeeding position where the breast that you are feeding the baby with that's the same hand that you also be supporting the baby with i hope you understand what i'm trying to say okay fine so right now we've positioned the baby baby on the side stomach touching your stomach and then baby's head at the level of the nipple and then baby's body tucked under like this with my hand so now we are moving on to how to hold the baby so in holding the baby you use your thumb 
and then your index finger like this you put it behind the baby's ears you put one thumb over here I don't know if you can see like this you put one thumb over here and then the other thumb over here and then your wrist should rest in between the shoulder blades of the baby don't move your hand down to the baby's neck and don't press on the head as well because the head is very sensitive and very fragile so you put your thumb over here and then you put your index finger over here so, and also make sure that as you've held it it shouldn't be too tight that the baby will not be able to move the head backwards as and when the baby wants to so don't press on it so on the side head uh, shoulder and also make sure that the baby's ear and the shoulder and the hip they are all in line you see my baby is small it's going to be a big disadvantage to me over here but i think it's going to be fine so so let's just say my baby is a premature baby so my thumb is over here and then my index finger is over here and then i'm tucking the body of my baby under my arm like this so like this and then over here like this okay so um in this case we are now moving on to how to hold the breast for the baby so in holding the breast for the baby you cup your hand in a u shape like this so in holding it you make sure let me put the baby down so i show you something so in this case let's take the the nipple as or let me say the the breast as a clock where the nipple is the middle of the clock you're using your hand in a u-shaped form where you hold it like at the six sorry at the nine and three o'clock position so one thumb over here and the other thumb is over there make sure that they are two fingers two fingers away from the nipple each of them are two fingers away from the nipple else if they are too close you'll be nipple feeding your baby where you'll be pressing on just the nipple and your baby will not be able to get enough breast milk into the mouth as well so make sure that they are at least two fingers away from the nipple so whilst you're placing your index finger make sure it's two fingers away from the nipple and whilst you're placing your thumb make sure it's two fingers away from the nipple and don't make your finger your fingers in a v-shape if you make it in a v-shape you also be pressing and then be forcing the milk into the baby's mouth so in order for your baby to have a very good and a deep latch make sure that your fingers are placed in the u-shape around the nipple so let me do it whilst i'm positioning my baby for you to see so like this so baby's head is over here at the level of the nipple and then my position is like this so this is helping the baby as i'm helping the baby to latch onto the breast and in helping the baby to latch onto the breast first of all you need to bring the baby's um, nose nostrils to the level of the nipple this is to help guide the baby's uh, uh, the nipple into the baby's mouth so once it's over there you see that by by reflex your baby will start searching for the nipple herself and then the baby will take will be able to take deeply into the mouth so as you're guiding you make sure that your baby is not just taking the nipple into the mouth but it's also taking the areola which is the dark area around the nipple into your baby's mouth so that your baby will be able to get sufficient breast milk into the mouth so as you've been able to help your baby latch deeply onto the breast and your baby is comfortably breastfeeding if the breast is not too heavy you can remove your hand release your hand from this side and then support the bottom of your baby like this you get it but if the breast is heavy and you still need to be supporting then you still have to place your hand over there to support your baby whilst your baby is latching into the breast if you see that the breast is covering the nostrils of your baby do not press the breast backward in order to um, take the the breast away from the nostrils of the baby this is what you do 
as I said in the positioning of your hand you see you're placing one hand here and the one hand over there and then your wrist is going to be in between the shoulder blades of your baby so in that case you gently press the shoulder blade like this and when you do that it elevates the angle between your baby's mouth and then the nipple so your baby's head tilts backwards like that and your baby is able to retake the breast into the baby's mouth and then it releases the breast from the nipple you either do that or you press on your baby's button when you press on the button as well it also helps increase the angle over here and it releases the um the breast away from the nostrils so in conclusion there is no one right position for all mothers to follow explore the breastfeeding positions to see which one works best for you and your baby what is important is for your baby to have a very good and deep latch so try exploring these other breastfeeding positions that i'll be talking about so that you and your baby will have a very comfortable experience whilst breastfeeding thank you so much for your time if you learned something from this video then please consider subscribing to the channel leave a comment in the comment section below and give me your feedbacks and if you've seen any other breastfeeding positions as well we can discuss it in the comment section below please share this video like it and please Come back next time. See you next week on Midwife's Diary. As and always, we are walking the talk of motherhood. Okay, bye. Wait, too. You've not been advising me. I think I've been buying people with my left hand on this channel. <laughs>